In this lesson, you will be able to compare functions that are represented graphically or as an equation. We're going to look at the example of Mike and Carol walking to school. These graphs below show Mike's walk to school in comparison to Carol's walk to school. Now look at these graphs and write an equation for each. Who walks faster? So the strategy we'll use is by first examining these graphs which show how fast Mike and Carol walk to school. Use each graph to come up with an equation for the function represented, then find the rate of change for each and compare. So let's start with Mike's graph. So Mike's graph is a straight line, and on the graph, the y-axis shows the distance covered in miles, and the x-axis shows the time that has passed in minutes. Now we can use the graph to define a function for y, which is distance, in terms of x, which is time. So you could do this by using a table right here. So the graph starts at the origin. So one point is zero, zero. This means that Mike has walked zero miles in zero minutes. This is his starting point. Now another point on the graph, 21, shows that after 20 minutes, Mike has walked one mile. Let's look for one more point. Let's pick 42. So in 40 minutes, Mike has walked 2 miles. Now looking at this table, you can find the slope of this function. Slope is the change in y divided by the change in x. In other words, the difference of the y values over the difference of the x values. So we can take any two points like 21 and 42 and we can plug it into this formula right here to calculate the slope. So the difference in y would be 2 minus 1 divided by the difference in x, which is 40 minus 20. And this simplifies to 1 over 20. Now, since this is a proportional graph, which means this line is straight and it goes through the origin, there's an easier way to find the slope. The slope of a proportional relationship is y divided by x. As y goes up by 1, x goes up by 20. This equation is 1 over 20x. Thus, this equation represents the function, and this means that Mike walks each mile in 20 minutes, or his speed, which is distance divided by time, is 1 20th miles per minute. The slope is the rate of change of the graph. Every time y changes by 1, x changes by 20. So this is a function of distance over time. And the rate of change, which is the slope, is Mike's walking speed to school. As this is a proportional relationship, the slope is constant, so the speed is constant. Mike is walking at a constant speed. Now note that this graph goes up from left to right. This means the graph is increasing. Increasing graphs are when y increases with an increase of x. The slope, or the rate of change, of an increasing graph is positive. You can see here that the slope, 1 over 20, is a positive number. For a slope that decreases, meaning the y goes down, as the x goes to the right means that the slope will be a negative number. Now let's look at Carol's graph. Now you could pick two points from the graph here and just as before we can start off with the first point of the origin 0 0 and the next point she walks one mile in 16 minutes. Then we can find a third point. She walks three miles in 48 minutes. Now we need to find the rate of change, which is the slope. So the change in y over the change in x. So here our two points are 16, 1 and 48, 3. And so the change in y would be 3 minus 1 divided by the change in x, which is 48 minus 16. We can simplify 2 over 32 by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2, 
and we get that this slope is 1 over 16. This equation is y equals 1 16th x. Now, this distance increases as time increases, so this is yet again an increasing graph. Since this graph is a straight line and the slope is constant, Carol is walking at a constant speed to school of 1 16th miles per minute. Now let's compare. Who is faster? So you can see these graphs below of Mike's walk to school and Carol's walk to school. We've already established that Mike can walk one mile in 20 minutes and Carol can walk one mile in 16 minutes. Since it takes Carol less time to walk this mile, Carol can walk faster than Mike. Now, you can also compare the rates of change or the slopes for each. Mike's slope is 1 over 20 and Carol's slope is 1 over 16. Since Carol's graph has the greater or more steep slope, the slope represents speed, so Carol's speed is faster. Great job and I'll see you next time.